Hi guys, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. This is going to be a quick reading. I wanted to see the next 72 hours. What can you expect? What's the energy like? And what is probably going to happen? Um, very immediate energies. We're trying to tap in to see what the universe has to say. So I've kept three options. I've only picked Oracle cards and I'm going to <clears throat> obviously shuffle tarot cards to see more. So pile one is going to be Citrine. Pile 2 will be the Lapis Lazuli and Pile 3 will be the Rainbow Moonstone. Okay, so you can pause the video, look at the crystals that are attracting you the most and go ahead and pick your piles. I'm going to pause for 2-3 seconds. Okay. Okay. Sometimes intuitive hits are so strong. It's sometimes strange to be an intuitive. You know why? Because you can just read too much. <laughs> okay. Pile number one. Whoever chose the citrine. Uh, let's see the next 72 hours. What can you expect? Butterfly, Metamorphosis, Peace, Love and Prosperity. Okay. If there was something going on, a squabble or a tough time, I think the feminine in the connection has to resolve it. You have to be in your feminine power. If this is a woman watching, then you have to be in your feminine power. If this is a man watching, you have to activate your feminine side to understand this situation and handle it with care. I am seeing something is being, something is reaching a sort of a resolution in the next 72 hours. Uh, the color orange and brown, Martian energy I'm picking up. So maybe a lot of conflicts are changing into peace. Okay, so I'm picking up the number four and five. Um, Whatever happened was needed. Like I said, if there was just a conflict that you had or if there was some argument, it was important for you to come back into your power. Let me see what this is about. Let me pick one card for the metamorphosis. Okay, this change, like, okay, uh, what I'm picking up is that if there was something that happened right away, like a couple of days back, or if there's a prolonged fight going on, it's important so that the energy can change. There's a need in the change of the dynamic of this situation. Okay, whichever situation you are in, um, the universe wants to shift the energy. And it's time, it's time for the energy to shift to something more stable yeah the on and off energy has to go somebody has to take a decision which is why this has this this happened Let me pick up cards on this particular energy. What's happening here with the peace, love and prosperity. Ah, um, so basically your approach had to change. Yes, your approach had to change. Everything is fine. It's just that you were getting deviated and the universe wanted to bring your attention to something. Everything is fine, okay? Everything is fine. It's just that... You have to understand your value. You have to stop devaluing yourself. And whenever you... So try to think this way that whenever you stop loving yourself, this situation will go out of your hands. 
because whatever you have manifested here is completely because of your own self love okay and whatever has materialized is because of how you have shaped things up in your life okay um it's basically not for i would say it's not um obsession is the word i'm picking up don't obsess you the universe wants you to know that you have very strong martian energy which can cause obsession and that's exactly what you need to tone down and every time you go into that obsession the universe will keep a check so this is about a person then you know what to do if this is about anything else you know what to do i am just seeing that you really need to balance your life and that is why the shift is happening something is changing for good this is all in alignment nothing has gone wrong everything is fine you just need to balance your energy and stop obsessing that's what i'm picking up in the next 72 hours this thing will reach a sort of a conclusion and you will understand this that not i mean i don't know why i'm being emphasized to say this that nothing has gone out of hands nothing has gone out of hands everything is fine you are in fact moving towards a much more stronger energy to see yourself in a better light okay pyron that's what i have let me know in the comments if this resonated private readings are open so you can reach out that's what your next 72 hours look like take care and i shall talk to you soon bye okay let's move to pile 2 whoever chose the lapis lazuli yeah i think this is pile 2 okay whatsoever please go by the crystals guys if I, i forgot if i placed this somewhere so i'm doing lapis lazuli now okay just check it once okay here we are i feel there must be some confusion let's see your next 72 hours how does it look like pile number 2 or just lapis lazuli hmm you're coming out of a cycle oh that's too soon Ah okay Probably you guys are thinking some of you are thinking when will I be able to come out of this loop like it's either this or that you could be confused between two options you could be going in circles about a particular situation but now I think you will reach a place where you will understand that the reason why certain things are repeating in your life is because you are not walking towards that one dream that you have. For example, what you want needs to be backed up by actions and that's probably something that you're not doing. So the universe is constantly taking you back to those same places, same lessons because you are to respond differently. you have to change the way you approach this situation okay i am seeing that there is somebody made for you uh, i this not relationship that i'm seeing is giving me a lot of passion and love vibes so i can see that there is a lot of hope in a particular situation where you know um, you are transforming you are shifting your life is shifting you have a very strong relationship around you but something is keeping you away from it right now and that is you your approach the way you are dealing with things okay hang in next 72 hours what can you expect expect this person to also show up like the person that you've been waiting for and when i say show up what i mean is show yourself like you know ke uh as in like you just be in your element let this person show up that's what i mean seven of swords eight of wands three of swords three of wands okay don't even think of putting in any more effort in this situation because you have done your bit now it's time for somebody else to put in the effort So in the next seventy-two hours, I see that this person, if you withdraw, I see that this person will put in the effort. This person will put in the effort. This person will understand that what is the solution, 
and they are going to bring about the necessary changes that are needed it's raining outside and it's a very unseasonal thing for us to have rains at this time of the year but it is anyway so i feel that yes i can sense that you have a very deep bond with this person yes it feels very surreal it feels very magnificent you felt it you've done the work just take a back seat okay i think this responding differently is what is the back seat basically taking the back seat maybe you've always been on the front end and this time you got to be at the back end so this is more of an advice in the next 72 hours just don't do anything it's time for the other person to do something what else can you expect uh expect some career changes some different growth um yeah i also see that you'll be walking away from anxiety something that you've been anxious about and you will find yourself in a much more happier space you'll feel better about everything you'll be in a much more comfortable zone at this point is what i'm seeing so things seem much far much better so respond to this in a different way that's what and i think you're probably pondering about how to do this or what to do so respond in a different way that's what the next 72 hours have for you lapis lazuli pile let me know in the comments if this resonated private readings are open so you can reach out to me and i will see you guys soon with more readings okay pile three let's see the next 72 hours we have the rainbow moonstone i oh. maybe some of you were confused between two and three let's see if i pick up the same kind of message I, that had the oh no wait okay some sort of a dance is coming to an end now when i say dance what i mean is when do you dance like this is a maniac dance that i'm picking up so it's more like a cycle coming to an end pile number three um and it's a very scary cycle that's coming to an end but you're protected just be in your power and i see you standing up in your power i don't see a problem at all everything is just fine at this point i think your position this is to do with some for some it could be to do with career your position could be challenged there are some people who are trying to put an evil eye on you but they will not be successful so don't worry also at this point i would recommend that you don't open up about your life with everyone because everybody out there is not wishing well for you um you are at par with someone i'm seeing maybe this is a person in your life and you have the potential to fight this battle so the universe wants to tell this to you that you know don't give up in the next 72 hours i am seeing let me pick some cards here this is repeating um somebody or a situation in your life all the confusion is going to clear out it's come to the edge you will get this communication you will get some clarity that everything has fallen in alignment and things are just fine you don't need to worry you don't need to panic i also see some blessing uh, around you that you can take this leap of faith in the next 72 hours if there is something on your mind that you've been thinking whether i should do or not do go ahead and just do it because you will sail it through you'll sail it through i'm also seeing that as you move forward there are certain announcements that you will have to make 
Now, when I say announcements, what I mean is you will have to speak it out loud and clear that yes, this is the situation, this is what I'm doing and this I have to do. Okay. And there is no harm in actually doing it. I don't see any harm in you doing this thing. Okay. And when you do it, you will see that you feel very comfortable. Um, you have that power in you. You will actually realize it. Suddenly you will sense this, ur this surge of power in you of being able to do this also because I am seeing that you have struggled and you fell down and now finally you are like, no, I'm not going to let this ruin me one more time and I'm going to take a stride. I'm going to now fight this battle and you're reaching the conclusion. You will fight it out. Look at this. Whatever the obstacle may be, you will fight it out. The universe is just bestowing a lot of power in you to be able to do this. Okay. I also want to do a yes or no thing for everyone, which is going to be after this. This is what I have for pile three. You will do it in the next 72 hours. Okay. You're protected. You've come to the point of now being able to do it. So I would want all of you. One second. Let me first keep this back and then I'm going to start. Okay, guys, please think of a yes or no answer that you need from the universe and we'll pick cards for it. It's a collective. So let's see if it resonates or not. Whatever you're thinking. Okay. What's the situation? I'm going to pick a card about the situation. What is the guidance for you? Okay. About the situation. Five of Pentacles and Five of Swords. So there is nobody winning or losing this. It is something that has to happen. So please don't think this way that you're the one who's wrong if you're taking a step or you have done something negative. No. It is okay for you to walk away. Because you're not... You're not here to answer everyone. Let me see the guidance here. It feels like a cry to me of somebody like, okay, I can only do this much. Okay, whatever you've asked, you should stop feeling guilty for whatever you are doing. Okay, the situation is deceptive. People are trying to take advantage of you in this situation. So you got to stop feeling guilty that, okay, I'm doing this. You're, you're being this sweet person that, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What is the problem? Stop feeling guilty in this situation, whatever you asked about. And this is more of a like a confirmation that you're overdoing somewhere. I had to dissect the situation. Whoever is resonating, please let me know in the comments. Stop overdoing. Okay. Stop overdoing. Guidance. Yeah. You are a star, okay? You are somebody who has everything. But you're just... You give the benefit of doubt too much to people. And that's, a, that's, that's too much to ask for. It's too much to ask for. So I would just say that stop doing too much for people. You really... Do you actually need to do this? Do you actually have to do this? No, you don't. You don't have to be over answerable. You don't have to be overdoing things for people at this point. No, there is no need for this. You're stable. You're fine. 
try to see what you are look at your value okay all right that's what i have i hope this helps okay private readings are open so you can reach out to me let me know in the comments if this resonated take care bye